Holmberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So we got a treat for you. If you're looking for an air ride show cattle trailer out there on the market in a Cimarron Steerwalt model, we have the only one available today that's brand new. So behind me is a 2022, like I mentioned, Cimarron Steerwalt. This is a 30 foot trailer. Again, air ride suspension. We're gonna talk about that air ride a couple times throughout this video, um, but it has become extremely popular. On these type of trailers, we do not like to inventory them without air ride. Uh, we've just found over the years that it's a little bit harder to sell them without the air ride. People have, un have come to understand and realize how beneficial that air ride is to their calves. But what we try to do is, is over the years, these trailers have really evolved and we'll talk about it a little bit as we get into this and show you different parts. So when they first kind of came out with this model, uh, what it was was it actually it was six, eight tall. It was eight foot wide and it was 28 foot long. But if we look at this trailer here, this one's six, four tall, eight foot wide, but this one's 30 foot long. And the reason why 30 is, is when we've kind of shifted in our inventory from the 28 footers to a 30 footer. Now we can build you whatever you want if you have a little bit of time, but we like to inventory these 30 footers because what we can do is we can stick to the 8,000 pound air ride axles without having to jump to nines, which nines in air ride means more money, more wheel well on the inside, uh, making that stall area between those, those wheel wells a little bit narrower. Uh, but again, the 30 footer has become so popular, it's so easy to get around. Uh, you go any longer and then it gets a little bit trickier. But we try to keep about three different versions of a 30 foot air ride kind of continually in rotation as far as inventory goes. So we kind of mix up some different options, kind of hit some different price points as well. So this one here, we'll just start kind of working our way through this. Underneath the neck area here, you can see we've got a hydraulic, electric over hydraulic jack, single leg. This has the manual override, so in emergency situations, we can get this on or off the, the truck itself. Battery box. Now, standard on the 22 models, this does have a battery disconnect. So in the past, we've always put that option on these trailers. And the reason why is because when we go to unhook these trailers, the last thing we want to do is accidentally leave the light on, drain this battery, go to hook up, battery's dead, then we have to manually hook it on or you know, possibly jump this battery to where when I unhook this, I can just turn that battery off and it kills all power to this trailer. So again, that's now standard. This box over here to the right, that is our self-contained compressor for the air ride system itself. Very simple to use, on off, raise lower. So basically what you do is you just turn it on, you get it aired up in the raised position and you drive down the road. That's it. Very, very simple. When you go to unhook it, you turn it off, you lower it, you clear the air lines down here because what happens is, is that air will create condensation that over time, especially in winter months, could freeze, crack a line, then you've got a, a air leak issue there. But again, these are very straightforward. You know, what you have to do is just get in the habit of turning it on, turn it off correctly. On, raise, when you turn it off, turn it off, lower, and then clear this line. I hold this till it stops hissing at me. Then I know all the air's out of there, we got that condensation out of the line itself. Uh, but again, very, very simple to use. You're not having to do a, a separate uh, actual air compressor on the truck, anything like that. It's all self-contained right there. So if you watch a lot of our videos, we talk about gooseneck drop wall heights. So, you know, a lot of times we're dealing with these taller trucks. Industry standard is 50 inches. We do a lot of our trailers in 53 inches. Uh, but in these type of scenarios, what we're doing is we're dealing with 17 five inch wheels and then we're dealing with air ride. So again, I'll show you back here in a little bit. Uh, we have this trailer aired down right now. But on these trailers here, we, we opt not to do the, the, the 53 inch drop wall. And we've just kind of learned that over the years. And again, just trial and error. Um, but the reason why we've gone to 50 is because by the time we pick the box up with the air ride, we have plenty of bed clearance by the time we adjust it. So on, on a lot of trailers with like 16 inch wheels, um, or you know non-air ride trailers, something along those lines, you'll see us do a 53 inch gooseneck drop wall. 
But on these here, we do a 50. And that's because of that air ride, picking the box up about two and a half inches. And I'll show you that here and again in a minute. This is black sheeting. You can see the polish. So the top rail, the bottom rail, and then all your side extrusions polished. So this trailer dresses up really, really nice. It is a very sharp looking trailer. Um, we'll kind of button it up here at the end of the video and you can walk around and kind of see it. But again, what we've done is kind of mixed up some of the options. Now, again, when I was talking earlier about that 28 footer, they kind of start off with a four foot front tack and it just had a man door. But we all understand we carry a lot of equipment. So then we kind of jump to a five foot because we have to have a five foot front tack in order to get you the side ramp. And the side ramp is so cool and so beneficial because now if you have blower carts, upright show boxes, you know, anything like that, portable generator, instead of having to lift it up and over, now we have this side ramp. So it's really easy to get in and out. But again, over the years, we've kind of evolved. We have a 30 foot trailer, so let's make that tack room a little bit bigger. People want a little bit bigger tack room. So we've gone to a six foot front tack on this trailer. And customer feedback that we've got on these six footers has become extremely popular. The reason why is because in a six foot front tack, when you start stacking equipment in here, you know, again, those upright blower carts, fan carts, upright show boxes, everything just seems to fit a little bit better in a six footer than a five footer. It just gives us a little bit more flexibility. So again, the six footers, we've kind of leaned towards that as far as our inventory goes. Uh, and then we've done a couple options in here. One of the very first things is, is this 18 inch boot box. The 18 inch boot box, because of the length of the, the actual tack room, instead of doing a 12, you know, we can actually set some buckets down in here. You can do some other items that are smaller miscellaneous that can roll around. We shifted it to one half of the trailer itself because again, we've got that ramp on that side. Well, to me, when I'm loading my upright box, I'm bringing that in and I'm putting it right here in this corner. But again, we've got it shifted out of the way. You can use it as a step, jump it into the, the neck area. And then you're probably wondering what in the world this thing is up here. Well, this here will hold four 24 inch fans motor down. We can slide them up, under the, up towards the front of the trailer. So now we don't have those fans bouncing around on the deck. You know, it could do damage to the coils on them themselves, but we can shift them up front. We've got this door on a gas shock that shuts behind them. And then when you go to take them out, you know, we've got this heavy UHMW plastic up here, so they slide really easy. But I can start grabbing fans. I tell everybody it's a good place to store your uh, show sticks over here to the right, or just keep an old one over there, because now those front ones, you can just start hooking them with the cage and your show stick and just pull them back towards you. But again, a good place to get them up out of the way. You've got a clothes rod over here. So if kids need to change clothes, they can hop in here. We've carpeted this whole partition wall behind us. Put these big hooks. These are nice, big and deep. So they'll hold more along our the lines of, of our big cords, our big hoses, anything like that. The old style bridle hooks, you know, off of horse trailers weren't as, weren't as tall, weren't as deep, but these, they call them utility hooks just because we can hang a lot more stuff. Up above it is a storage tray for our plexiglass that I'll show you here in a little bit. Again, good place to get it up out of the way so it's taken care of. And then we've got an airliner track that's here on the wall. So again, we can get some hooks. We can set, again, maybe it's a blower cart, maybe it is your upright show box, anything like that you can set against the wall, ratchet strap it down, and then it's secure. One of the other things is because we have a man door and a, and a side ramp is, you know, again, customer feedback is we normally have our light switch for the LED lights above each of these doors, usually right by the man door, which we do. But a lot of times if we have equipment stacked in here, you know, and we go to un start unloading stuff from the side ramp, well, our switch is clear over here by this door. So we've gone in and added a second switch right by the ramp. So again, either side of this trailer that you come in, you can turn those lights on. So when we're dealing with these air ride trailers, 
I preach to everybody, it's so much easier with having the ramps, obviously to load equipment, and then also our livestock, but have the trailer aired down. And the reason for that is because when it's aired down, we're two and a half inches lower to the ground, which changes the angles of these ramps. So again, load your equipment, load your animals with it down, and then you can shut it up. And before you leave, you turn, you put it in the raised posi position, the compressor will kick back on and start picking this trailer up. Um, and then you can do your final checks before you actually pull out of the driveway. So what we've got is I'm going to do a couple things here. As you can see, we've got a ramp going into the stall area here. We've actually shifted this one back a little bit ahead of the, the wheel wells. Um, this has become a little bit more popular of an option as well. Normally this is located, you know, kind of up, up towards the front, right behind that tack room. But a lot of customers are wanting it shifted back. So we're, we're doing that option here. But let's look at these axles before we jump into the staller and talk about a few other things. Cause I want to show you again, this is aired down right now. So no air to the bags themselves. So again, two 8,000 pound air ride axles. They're rubber torsion with a shock kit. So if something happens to our air ride system, our compressor, a line, a bag, it sets down on rubber torsion axles and you can still get down the road. Old air ride trailers, old systems, you couldn't move the trailer one if you had an issue there. This you can. But what I want you to notice is, is that gap. I can put about three fingers to the top of the trailer to the top of that wheel well right there. So here in a second, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and raise it and we'll walk through some other stuff. And when we come back out here, we'll look at that and I'll show you what we're talking about as far as how much it actually picks up this trailer itself. So again, we've got that ramp set back a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this air ride and put it in the raised position. And again, it's gonna fill up these bags and pick up the trailer itself. But again, with the ramp back, there's a couple things we can do. Um, you know, a lot of times as you're, as you're leading cattle in, leading cattle off, it's kind of nice because you can go to the right, tie them up, um, and then kind of step away from them. And then leading them off is a little easy as well. But now let's talk about, again, going back to those original trailers, 28 foot, four foot front tack. Usually what we do is we do a fixed gate 9.3 off the back. And the reason why 9.3 is if you were hauling uh, any type of blocking chutes, you know, an eight footer with handle and wheels will fit behind a 9.3 gate. So that's why it was 9.3 to where now everybody wants the flexibility. So now we have two traveling gates. So on this very first one, we did a slider with no threshold. So cattle don't have to step over anything. And I'll slide it out of the way here. But then with this traveling gate set up, all I have to do is basically free it from the side post there. And now, I can actually slide this gate forward right up against the partition wall. So now this one stores out of the way. If I wanted to do that with the second gate, I could do the same thing. It's got a spot ahead of this escape door where it locks into as well. But with the two traveling gates, now it gives us complete flexibility on what we want to do for these stall areas. You know, now I can have three compartments, how we have it set right now. We could have two, we could slide that forward. You'd have one big one. Uh, but think about this. If you're traveling maybe with a cow-calf pair, a bull, something like that where you need to get them separated um, and we're not wasting a 10-foot stall on a cow-calf pair or something like that with a fixed gate, now we can manipulate this all we want. So the two traveling gates have become such a popular option. Again, air ride, two traveling gates, bigger tack. Those are kind of our, our three main things we hit on these trailers when we're building them for inventory. But what they'll do is, and again, they'll lock into every post, upright post, so every foot. And then as you get into your door frames or like where your wheel wells are, where you have maybe a little bit bigger post for those, they've actually got a notch. And again, a heavy UHMW plastic, so we don't have that you know, any type of rattle there and it just keeps it nice and secure. But again, we have so much flexibility now for these stall areas because of it. And we run this track 
clear to the back. I mean, it's two foot off the back of the trailer. So you can imagine what you can do for stall sizes. Again, complete flexibility. The second gate here we did as a 48 inch swing. It's a no threshold as well. It swings both directions. So again, leading cattle on and off, uh, you, it, it is a little bit easier. I mean, this gate doesn't just go one way to where you have to walk a calf around it or you know, through it and around it to get them tied up. Um, again, by having that flexibility, boy, it just makes a big difference. So we talked about the originals being six, eight tall. And the reason why is, you know, heat rises. We want to get that heat away from the cattle. Well, with this insulated roof that Cimarron puts in here, they quickly realize that how much cooler it keeps this stall area compared to an aluminum sheeted roof. Well, now we don't have to have that extra height pulling around. So six, four, because of the insulated roof, it keeps it about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roof, keeping the cattle more comfortable. And then we put some roof vents as well so we can manipulate airflow through this trailer. You know, we can force air down, we can release air, especially in the winter months if, if we do have it sealed up, uh, getting that heat, you know, out of here and away from the cattle. Uh, but that insulated roof does make a big difference. Uh, if you put a tape measure to about floor to the center of the ceiling here, you'll get about 6'6". Six, six. There is a bow to it, uh, but they call it 6'4 from the sidewall itself. We have LED lights throughout this trailer, you know, giving you a lot of, of just light coverage. I mean, we understand a lot of times we're not doing this in daylight. The other thing we've done is we've gone in and added a couple switches right above this ramp. Again, customer feedback, lights on the passenger side above these ramps and then these stall areas, we can control those from right here. So I don't have to go to the back of this trailer to turn those lights on for loading and unloading cattle. Then there's other things that we've done in here. Tie rails high and low. So again, we've got that flexibility to tie cattle up. If we're getting them ready for a show, we can bring them in here, tie their heads up, tie them down low. They will lay down. And when they're on this air ride trailer, they think they're in the barn. They will lay down in here. Uh, one of the best stories I've ever heard was one of the first air ride trailers that Steerwaltz actually pulled, they were bringing a steer up to Denver and they would leave Oklahoma 50 pounds heavy because that's compared to their, their target weight because that calf would usually lose about that much just from the stress of travel. Um, and basically when they got to Bennett outside of, of Denver here, I think that calf only lost like five pounds. He laid down, he was completely relaxed, completely comfortable. So that kind of changed the way they had to look at things because again, the cattle just, they ride so much better in these air ride trailers from that standpoint of, you know, we're not getting that jarring um, from the road itself. You know, think about their joints, think about long trips. Um, you know, I mean, it's every advantage we can give them to compete at the highest level, we want them to do that. A lot of people can cut like a day off a front end of a trip because everything can recover so much faster because they're not, again, having that jarring that they normally would. So then think about your expenses. You're cutting a day off of, of being away from home, a day of hotels, meals, etc. I mean, it makes a big difference. So, like I mentioned, we turned this on, we aired it up. So I had three fingers from the top of the tire to the wheel well. Well, there's those three fingers. You can see how much this has picked this trailer up. I mean, now I can put my whole hand right there and it I mean, barely can graze this wheel well there. So now this is where I'd want to go down the road with the trailer itself because we have it aired up. So again, talk to people that have these air ride trailers and I'm very confident they will tell you they'll never pull another one without it. It makes a difference, big difference. So like I mentioned, 17 and a half inch wheels, aluminum wheels. These are black with some silver accent to them. Again, just kind of mixing it up with the color of the trailer, the extrusion, 17 five inch wheels, tires, heavy duty tires. These are 16 plies, nitrogen filled. So we're not having the PSI levels fluctuate drastically. One year of no questions asked warranty on these tires. You get to road debris, have a blowout. You take some pictures, they'll send you a new tire. Two years of roadside assistance as well. The other thing that we like to do is on these wider trailers and bigger trailers, we like to put an amber turn signal. It just works as an extra indicator 
It'll, it'll flash when you turn your blinkers on. It'll indicate when your brakes are engaged, uh, but also works as a nice big marker light as well for you. You know, these are bigger trailers. We just want people to pay attention to us. Let us, you know, hey, we're trying to get over. Um, we like to go and do that on our living quarters. Again, these eight wide trailers, bigger trailers themselves. Fold down air gaps on this lower air gap. The reason why we like the fold downs is, is because it's so easy to use. I mean, we can walk by and open and close these so fast. You know, we're not having to deal with plexiglass. There is plexiglass up high in these two upper air gaps. But what we're noticing is a lot of customers like to run these in because our insulated roof keeps it cooler. It keeps the sun off the cattle because it's got a tint to it. And then what it does is you can also use those roof vents up top to manipulate that airflow. We can force the air down low to the cattle. So if they're laying down, their nose is there. If they're standing up, their chest floor is there. You know, that's their radiator. So if you keep that cold, or cool, you know, that air will come down and then come out the side, where if we have these open, that air just comes out the top side of the trailer. So you can manipulate airflow quite a bit with these lower air gaps. If you do that in the plexiglass, again, it's one more thing you gotta deal with, but it's a smaller air gap as well. It's where these, we can get big air gaps. And then that tie rail goes across there on each side. And it also just helps kind of protect, you know, we're not getting a foot out or anything like that. Exterior tie rails high and low. Again, over the years, we used to put them right below the air gap. Well, that's, a, that's really high to be tying cattle up that high with their heads up um, to where we've kind of shifted that down. Again, dealing with taller wheels and tires. Obviously, this is aired up. So again, two and a half inches lower, this will drop two and a half inches as well. Button lights, LED button lights are standard now in the 22 models. We added a few more to this trailer. You can see our load lights above each ramp, giving us some, some light coverage. We haven't talked about the warranty of this trailer. We talked a little bit about the wheels and tires, but you have an eight year structure warranty from Cimarron, three year hardware. And then again, you get that tire warranty. So, you know, they really stand behind the product themselves. They're great to work with if you have any, any issues or anything that needs to be done. So here at the rear gate, two more eight inch awning lights above it. You see the slider we have open right now. That is a 36 inch wide slider on these eight foot wide trailers. We have the ability to make this a little bit wider, keeping the hardware out of the opening itself. So if you're button up in a parking lot or something with another trailer and, and jumping some calves across, you know, it's a lot simpler to do by having that bigger opening. And the other thing is because Cimarron's put this bigger rear bumper on these trailers. The one that they use standard kind of on the horse trailers that they've done in the past, you know, all this hardware, you can actually hardware to hardware on a trailer if you bump them up against each other. But on these, we've actually gone in, Cimarron has and put a larger, you know, deeper rubber bumper here. So again, we'll keep those trailers off of each other. And another cool little feature, safety feature that I like is the slam latch. So for safety purposes, you know, getting something loaded on here and going to shut this back gate, you know, we're always having to deal with this, this cam latch and holding the gate for safety purposes. Now I can go ahead and slam it and at least catch and it gives me a, a second or two to go ahead and get that done. Um, you know, things do, do break. I mean, if you get enough cattle pushing on the back of it, you know, there is that potential but at least gives you a, a little bit of time to go ahead and secure this cam latch. So they've been working on this R&D for a little while. They got it done. It works really slick. I'm a big fan of it because of that safety reason itself. Here's our switches at the back corner. So we can run interior lights, load lights on each side of the trailer rear individually themselves. Maybe you want to add a rear ramp. We can remove that rubber bumper and put one on. There's things that we can do to these trailers after the fact quite a bit. Over here on driver's side, same thing. There's those lower air gaps all opened up. Tie rail high and low, again, both sides. So if you're showing off this trailer, tying out at the trailer, you know, tying out especially, you know, get to some of these shows, this is where you park. Now you gotta figure out which is the shaded side. 
now you have that, that ability to stick the cattle on either side of this trailer if you're tying out. There's that escape door going into the stallery as well. And then our door going into the tack room. And I want you to notice we put steps on both of them. So it's just a lot easier hopping in and out of this trailer by having those steps on there than flat footed jumping into those tack rooms. But we really like, I, I won't, I won't build a trailer for inventory and I'll, I really won't <laughs> build a trailer for you with a side ramp going in the front tack unless there's a second door going into it. Whether it's a, a partition wall, you know, pass through door or a man door like this and that's for safety purposes. Because if you get stuck in that tack room with that ramp shut, you cannot get out. You know, there's no windows up in the neck. So I always will say, hey, let's put a door on here. And I always like to put this door on, on street side and the ramp on curb side. And the reason why is if we have to pull off on the side of the road to have something done, you know, it's a little easier to hop in this door rather than trying to fold a ramp down when you have traffic coming by. So I like having that on, on, uh, on curb side that ramp itself going into the tack. But we can mix these up. Whatever you want to do, however you want to build the trailer, we can build you one if you have a little bit of time. Um, again, we usually have about three different versions of this. We kind of option them up all a little bit different, but they're all 30 foot air rides. They all have two traveling gates. They all have six foot tacks. Again, that's kind of our criteria on how we're building them right now. So if you're interested in this one, I'm going to give you the stock number. Again, it's a 2022 Steerwalt Signature Series, 30-foot air ride, 5N, 210212. This is the only air ride new Steerwalt on the market today that is available. We had one a couple weeks ago and it sold right away. So don't hesitate. It won't stick around long. Give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. Our number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.